this video we're going to set up uh, how to make new line styles for a project that doesn't have them. So if we go to the Manage tab, we're going to mostly focus in additional settings and line styles. <coughs> so in here, by default, you get a fair amount of line work in Revit. Mostly being thin lines, wide lines, medium lines. Those are more of your drafting views. Um, so to make yourself some more, so that you have more line weights, more line types to work with throughout the project in drafting or model lines, we're going to go here, and I'm going to start naming these things. So I'm going to—I always like to name them with the line weight first. So I'm going to do a one solid. You never have to write line because they're all lines. So one solid right up top. I normally will do one dashed and one gray. And you can do this for a whole bunch of line types. Um, you probably don't need too many. But I'm just going to run through and get some basics in there. So we normally do a three dashed also. And we'll do a three gray. You can also add solid on the end if you want to make it clear that it's solid. Or sometimes I've seen them do 3G solid, so it's a similar setup. Um, I can rename this one to match that up. That way you can make a 1G dash to 1G G solid. All right, so for the, the here's our line weights. Um, for Obviously, we should make the 2 a 2 and make all the 3s 3. Make all of our 5s five 5s. Five. All right, and that that kind of gets you started. Then I would come in to the, the 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 grays and select the gray color that you think would work best, or what prints out the best for you. You know which else? We have a gray over here. Um, for the dashed lines, you would come over here, and we would pick dash. Obviously, you have a lot of choices in, in your line patterns, so you can come through and get exactly what you want. Um, you can also make uh, center lines, dash dots. Um, there's a lot of different options. But that's a very basic setup for most of your uh, detailing and documentation when it comes to your line work. So this will give you a good setup. You can you can scroll between these lines by just simply once you get into any of the line type um, uh, editors or detail lines, if you type one, it'll take you right up to all of the ones. If you type two, it takes you to the twos, five. It just it can make you jump around because once you get a big project going, you might build up a, a large amount of line line work. But if you name them like this, it should let you jump around a lot um, and be more efficient. And that's setting up line work in Revit.